Hello. So today, ROC, R-O-C-K, Robust Clustering Through Links. We will study this uh, algorithm. It is an algorithm for clustering categorical data. So just an overview. It uses links to measure similarity instead of distances. So the concept of similarity instead of distances. And this is not actually the similarity matrix uh, we usually speak about. Uh, before I forget, this algorithm was proposed by S. Guha et al. in this paper published in Information Systems Journal in the year 2000. So, uh, this diagram actually has been taken from that paper. For those who are interested can go into the depths by looking into the paper. So, this algorithm for categorical data uses a slightly different concept, links. And it works uh, only on samples drawn from the data set. So, it can work on huge size, big size data also. So, it takes a sample and clusters it and then partitions the data set based on the clusters from the sample. So, we first begin with going through the important concepts, the similarity measure, neighbor, link graph and goodness measure. So, the similarity measure, we are taking an example of uh, some six tuples of categorical data. So, this similarity measure, we will remember this is the Jacquard coefficient between tuples Ti, Tj is Ti intersection Tj by Ti union Tj. These concepts we have discussed earlier also in different videos. So, if we take T1 and T4, so this is T1. We are looking into this tuple T1 and tuple T4 and we see that the intersection is in the last column where the value for Windy is false in both and in the union we see there are five attribute values sunny, warm, false, rainy and mild. So, five of them. So, based on this the similarity is 1 by 5. For T2, T3 again we take another two tuples and for them also similarity is 1 by 5 because the common is one attribute which is this warm attribute uh, for a warm value for the temperature attribute. So, this is a similarity measure but in this formula we are assuming that all attributes have equivalent impact on similarity. That means even if an attribute has uh, five values and the other one has 15 values, this difference measure uh, gets an equivalent impact, which should not be the case. If an attribute can take five values, another can take two values, another one can take 100 values, their impact should be different and that is what we will see in the, uh, the weighted measure. We must consider the number of states that an attribute can take. Okay, the different uh, values like windy here can take only false and true while other attributes uh, work differently. So, now we define a weighted similarity measure where what has happened? This Ti union Tj in the denominator of this similarity is changed. We have used this word sim new only to differentiate between the two measures because we are using both in this uh, same uh, slide, uh, same video. See here. So, Ti union Tj has been replaced by something this. And for the differing attributes, the contribution is taken to be twice the inverse of the cardinality. So, this is what K does not belong to Ti intersection Tj. These are the the common attributes and here we are taking those which are not common where the two tuples are different. So, for them we take the inverse of the size of the domain. Okay, So, this is our new similarity measure and we recompute similarity for the same tuples but here now we are looking into the domain. The domain of outlook the first attribute is has three values in the set. For temperature again 3, however, 
Windy has two. So the size of the domains are this. So now when you compute for T1, T4, considering the domain size also, then we get 3 by 7, while for the new by new measure T2, T3 comes as 3 by 8. So these are different now. See, it is 3 by 7 and this is 3 by 8, which means what? Where T1, T4 is more similar than T2, T3. It is 3 by 7 and this is 3 by 8. So this is more similar. How in the previous measure where we did not take the weighted, uh, the weighted uh, uh, values of the domains, size of the domains, then it was same. So now we discuss the, the concept of neighbor of an object. We take a threshold value and a pair is neighbor if the similarity is greater than or equal to threshold. See, we first discussed the similarity measure. Now we are coming to the concept of neighbor. Slowly we are building on the base so that we can discuss the rock algorithm. So if sim nu ti tj is greater than or equal to theta, then ti tj are neighbors. So for the previous slide, 3 by 7 is 0.42 and this is 0.37. So if theta is 0.4, then T1, T4 are neighbors while T2, T3 are not. Right? Because this value is less than 4, 0.4. Then the concept of link graph. Link TITJ is the number of common neighbors between TITJ. First we said when can a pair be neighbors and then we say pair of common neighbors. And the link graph for the set D of tuples is defined such that the vertex set is the data point, sorry, data points and there is an edge between TITJ when this link is non-zero. Link is the number of common neighbors. That means at least one common neighbor has to be there for there to be an edge in the link graph and the selection of threshold that theta will define the density of the graph. Then finally the goodness measure for merging of clusters. See the rock algorithm is also working in an agglomerative manner merging the clusters but for this the goodness measure is defined with the link as its base. So goodness measure for CICJ is defined in this manner link CICJ and we have this uh, denominator where these are the number of points in CICJ and the function f theta is a function of theta the threshold value and link CICJ is the sum of the cross links between the tuples in CI and CJ. We add up all the link values. So now we take the same example and see how we can compute the link between T1 and T2. So for that first the neighbors of T1 and T2 has to be formed because the link value is only the number of common neighbors. So for that we note that the domains are as discussed earlier and the theta value given to us is 0.3. So to compute the link, we need neighbors. For that, we need the similarity. So similarity of T1 with respect to uh, T2, T3, T4, T5, we say, we'll uh, check on all. So T1, T2, we'll just go through this one. So we have T1 and T2 have two common values. One is sunny and the warm. So only in the windy attribute, so see here, the k was running through the differing attribute. So he, we here we have only one differing attribute. So t, ti intersection tj, ti intersection tj and this is twice of 1 by domain of this windy which is 3, domain is 2. So we get the value of 0 0.667 and similarly the rest of the similarities. t1, t6 is uh, this. So the neighbors of T1 we see are since the theta was 0.3 all T2, T3, T4, T5 are neighbors. However, with T6 we see even when you look at the tuples there is no common attribute. So, the similarity is 0. So, neighbors of T1 are 
T2, T3, T4, T5. In a similar fashion, we will go through the similarity of T2 with all the tuples and we find that the neighbors of T2 are T1, T3, T6. So, we see what is the common here. We have this T3 is common. So, the link value of T1, T2 is 1. Okay. We are not going through more detailed uh, numericals uh, in the present uh, video. We will do it in the future videos. Now, we would discuss the rock algorithm. So, this starts with each cluster being a single data point like all other hierarchical algorithms. The number of links between pairs is computed and a global heap Q and a local heap is maintained for each cluster. QCI for each cluster and a global heap for all the clusters. The local heap contains for CI it is storing each CJ with non-zero link which means there are at least one common neighbor. See we should understand the concept of this algorithm. So, so QCI is this containing all those clusters with non-zero link from CI and they are ordered in the decreasing order of the goodness measure GCICJ. GCICJ we have seen how it is computed. It is computed by that given formula and with respect to CI this is how they are stored. Q the global heap contains each cluster CI with the max G QCI. See QCI is the local heap uh, with respect to the cluster CI and the maximum goodness measure from this QCI is stored in capital Q, the global heap. So, for each cluster the maximum goodness measure is stored in Q. Okay. And the clusters in Q are ordered in the decreasing order of goodness measure. At each next step, which are the best clusters to be managed, uh, merged, the max cluster CI in Q and the max cluster in QCI. Okay, so if we first take Q and then the QCI. Okay, sorry about the uh, writing. So Q. It is containing the goodness measure. So, the one cluster which we got here. So, for this QCI, we are picking up. So, this max cluster here and this one, these are the best pairs to be merged. And this merging continues till one of the criteria is met. Either we get K or no more links remain between the clusters. That means you are uh, unable to merge any more clusters. Okay. So, this was just briefly. We have described the rock algorithm. So, what were the main steps? The link similarity between two transactions is the number of common neighbors. Just a brief overview of rock. Link similarity. First, the number of links between pair of tuples. We uh, took an example of link T1, T2. This you would do for all tuples so that you get a matrix. Then agglomerative clustering is performed using a goodness measure for merging tuples and termination is either stop at a predetermined number of clusters or when no links remain between clusters. And these were the important concepts which we studied today. Finally, concluding remarks, this algorithm works on those, uh, on those data points where the non-metric similarity measures uh, are relevant. And it also produces variable size and good quality clusters. We shall discuss this in more detail in some future video. So, thank you. Thanks for watching.